Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the second video in this uh, iPad music production course for uh, the Make Do Create project by Wheelworks. Uh, my name is Graham Ginty and uh, welcome to this video. Uh, in this one we're going to follow on from last week and we're going to show you another app that's really really awesome for making uh, some little bits of music with and we're going to show you how to get those out of that app uh, into your little folder that we made in last week's session uh, and start saving those sounds but we're also going to have a look at that main app that we're going to use to start putting all our sounds together uh, and creating our final tune so let's get stuck in. Uh, okay, the first thing that we're going to have a look at is the app that um, uh, is in my little music folder here, and it is called Figure. So Figure is made by a, a, an organization called Propeller Heads, um, who make a piece of um, electronic music production software called Reason. Um, and Reason's pretty awesome. It's been around for a long time. Lots of people use it to make lots of types of uh, electronic music, but it can be used to record uh, instruments and vocals and things like that as well. But they have kind of branched out recently uh, and started making uh, apps. Uh, if you go onto their website, uh, which is reasonstudios.com, click on mobile apps, um, then here are the apps that they make. So we can scroll through and we've got a thing called Reason Compact, which is a tiny version. This is in the background here. This is the main Reason app here. And this is what Reason Compact looks like. So it's just like a little small version of Reason. It's pretty awesome. Um, this is the one that we're going to use in this video. It's called Figure, which allows us to create little beats or bass lines or stuff. Um, uh, primarily designed to be done while uh, you're on the move, you know, on your iPad or on your phone. And this one called Take, which allows you to record little musical ideas, whether it's a, an, an instrument or a vocal thing or something like that. It's really cool too. Um, so all of these are free, uh, but the only thing that you'll need to do is to register. So once you download one of these apps, then open it up on your phone or your tablet. Um, you'll need to just stick in an email address, password, register with, uh, with Reason to get that up and running. You'll only need to do it once uh, and it doesn't cost anything. So the apps are free. You're not signing up to pay a subscription or anything like that. It's all completely free. Um, so if you have downloaded the Figure app to take part in this program um, or in this video, then uh, just make sure that you click on it and go through that registration process before we start. If you haven't downloaded Figure, pause the video, go and get it now. Um, go through that registration process, get it sorted, and then we'll get stuck in. All right, so here we go. We're going to click on Figure, and that's going to load up our app like so. Okay, so the way that this works is very, very basic, but it allows you to get some really awesome stuff happening really quickly. Uh, is once we click on, on the left-hand side here, we've got a section called Pattern. And then we've got tweaks and global, mix, song, all these things. Um, I'm going to show you how to create um, a little beat and a bass line and a little lead part in here, how to record it, get it out of the app, and get it into our little uh, samples folder. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is to go into song and just make sure that I create a new one. So if you're in a figure for the first time, you won't need to do this. This will be your first song. You can just crack on. But if you've been playing around with it, created some songs before, um, you can click on this browse button. There's the songs that I've kind of made previously. Um, so I can click that. Uh, you can just click on the new button and it will create a brand new one for you. It does kind of give you a random name. You can see here, we've got a random name that it automatically gives you whenever you create a new song. Uh, but we don't want that. So I'm just going to call this, let's call this high speed. And I'm going to call it 120 because I want my song to be 120 beats per minute. So we'll close that down. You'll remember from last week that it was really important to put um, the tempo into your track, but also your musical key. Uh, but we can change this before we export later on. Uh, it's totally fine. Um, once we get our track up and running uh, and see what key it's in and what tempo it actually is, we can change this later. Um, so now we've created a new song, given it a name. I'm going to go back to pattern and show you how this works. So each section here allows us to create a sound. 
And this uh, is one of the most simple apps that you can use to make um, electronic um, ideas and record some beats and things like that. Um, but it's really cool as well. And the awesome thing about this is that you just need this and a set of headphones and you can be making music anywhere. You can be sitting at home with your friends, on the sofa, uh, with your family, in your room on your own, doing whatever you like, on the bus, traveling somewhere in the back of the car, get your phone out, get your tablet out, stick the headphones in and you can start making some awesome stuff. Um, so this is how it works. This is our drum machine, I'll show you this first. We've got kick, a clap, hi-hats, and like a wee shaker thing here. And all I have to do is hold down, press on this blue section, and it'll play the kick drum. So not only will it play the drum, but it will play a pattern. So let's show you how that works. Like so. So I can then, move over to the clap in the second channel here or go into the hi-hats or the shaker like so or I can play combinations of those so if I want to go for kick and hat or kick and clap I just hold both of them down with two fingers then add in the hats Like so. Um, so what I can also do is along the top here where it says Technologic, I can scroll that over and then it'll change uh, the sound. Like so. Um, and you can keep going through until you get something that you like. Right through the, the signs there like so so the other thing that we can do is we can hold down this so I can press on this and we can change how many instances of that sound you will get in the loop so I can turn that up and down so if I go to two then we'll only get two Like so, it's pretty cool. Um, so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go along the bottom here to where it says global, and I'm going to change the tempo. So we want this to be up. We're going to click on this. We're going to drag it up to 120. Um, we'll just leave the key where it is it's currently in uh, D minor. That's totally fine. Um, and I'm just going to go back to where my pattern is now. Whenever I hold this down. There we go, that's it up 120. Uh, so we've got a beat that we like, it's pretty cool. We like the drum set. We can now go up here and click on bass. So uh, whenever I then hold any of these down, it will also play a sound, but this is slightly different than this. You can see these are just big chunks and this will trigger each one of these sounds. These ones are slightly different because these are based on pitch. So if I hold down this one, You can see that there's a rhythm here that's giving me that pulse of four beats. Like so, but I could hold two notes down. Then you can create some um, nice little patterns by holding down a couple of different notes. Uh, this one here, whenever I scroll that up, it just gives you more notes, so it's giving you a wider range. You can see the notes, so the higher that is, then the more notes that you have access to. Like so. Then this one gives you um, bigger or smaller amounts of range between those notes as well. So we can play around with that. And also along here we've got um, uh, the name of this particular bass patch. We can scroll through 
and then come up with some different ones. Like so, and the same with lead as well. We've got our range here, we've got rhythm for our lead. Like so. Um, so, let's have a look then at how we can record these sounds. Now that we've picked some sounds, we've played around with the settings, we can then go in and record this. So you can see up top left here, we've got a big button that says record. We can click on that and now we're ready to record. And what this will record will be two bars. So that means four beats and then another four beats. Um, so this will record and then it will go back to the start here and you can then take your fingers off the pads because it will have stopped recording. You will have recorded your loop. So I'll show you how that works if we do our drum beat first. So we're going to start here with our drum beat. We're ready to record. This is flashing. That means that it's armed. You can see this is red. As soon as we put our first finger on our first beat here, our combination of beats, this will change and it will start recording. Um, and then it'll record over this first bar to here and then straight away into the second bar. And then it'll loop back to the beginning and it will have recorded what you played. Uh, okay, so let's give that a go. And now we can go into our bass. button and that's us recorded so we've recorded our little loops so I can then play that back and I've just gone into my mix section here because I think that this one's really loud compared to the rest of them so I'm just going to pull that down a wee bit and then have a play back Great. So I think that sounds really good. What I can do now is uh, I can export this. So you can't export it. We can turn these ones off and then just play the beat. Like so, or we can unmute these, play everything. Like so, and what, whichever ones you've got selected, whichever ones you've got muted. So if we turn these ones off, and then go to export this out of the app, then it'll just be the beat that we'll export. If we have everything turned on, it'll be everything that we'll export. All right, so we're just gonna export the beat for this first one. Um, so we're gonna click the mute on each one of these channels just to turn the sound off on our bass and on our lead, like so. Then click on song. So to export this, we need to go into our browse section here, but I'm just gonna click save on this first. We're going to go into our browse and then we see that we've got this is our session is selected and I can click on this button here which is our export button. So that will then pop up in this window and we want to go save the files and then find out where our folder is that we made last week which is this one music samples. Uh, so I'm going to put this in beats and I'm going to just get rid at the end here like so uh, and then I'm gonna click done and save so what I'm also going to do then is go back into my mix and I'm going to unmute these 
and then I'm going to do the same thing again. So let's save it, browse, export that, save the files into here, down to my folder, music samples, and then let's, instead of calling, calling this beat, loop because it's got more than just um, beats in it there we go um, okay so one thing actually let's just click uh, cancel on this one thing that I forgot to do uh, is to go into global and have a look at what key it's in so it's in D minor so remember last week we were talking about putting in the the tempo and the key so let's whenever we're um, saving this to files, we're going to put in the tempo and the key, music samples, and then we've got house, and then let's call that D minor. This is going to become really important whenever you're using these loops in a track in a wee minute. So click done, click save. And there we go. So now we can close this down. That's us done with figure. Um, what I would say before we move on to uh, our next app is that there are lots of apps here. You can see in my folder, even I've got tons and tons of different apps. Some of them we'll look in the next look at in the next couple of videos. Other ones you'll just have to go and figure out for yourself. We're not going to have time within this program to look at every app that's available. There's literally hundreds. Um, but just do a wee bit of Googling. Get yourself online. Um, just type in best iOS apps for music making and you'll be get you'll get lots and lots of lists of uh, uh, people that have put up um, links to lots of amazing apps that you can go and download and try out. Uh, there's lots of apps that are free even the ones that you pay for aren't really that much maybe only five six pounds or something like that but there are lots of free ones that you can work with as well uh, so jump in go and try some out. Um, let us know get in touch let us know if you find some cool ones that'd be great um so let's go and have a look at the app that we're going to use to put all this stuff together which is GarageBand so GarageBand uh, is very popular lots of people have used it it is made by Apple so it comes free if you've got an iPad or a phone or a, or a, a Mac computer you can download this for free it does not cost a thing and it is pretty awesome so I'm going to click on it um, and what I'm going to do now is to create a brand new song. So I'm going to save that in my iPad. I've got a little plus sign here. Uh, and we can click that and that will open up a new track. So there are lots of free sounds that come with GarageBand. Lots of instruments that come with it. Lots of really awesome stuff that you can piece together. And we can use some of that stuff. But we're also going to use some of the sounds that we created tonight in Figure. And in last week's video in uh, Launchpad. And we can bring those all in. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we can flick through here. And here are all the different instruments that you can put in. So we've got lots of different acoustic instruments, electronic instruments, synths, drums, drum machines, guitar amps, all those kinds of things. We don't need to worry about any of those at this point. We just want to put in a track that will allow us to get into the section of the app where we can bring in our sounds that we've already made. So to do that, I'm just going to select this audio recorder one. I'm going to click on voice and open that up. So once this opens, this will be our uh, main GarageBand session. Um, at the moment, we don't need to worry about any of the stuff that's in here. We can forget about all of that. We're not going to use any of that. We're just worried about this section along the top here. So this is our transport, uh, what's known as our transport bar. This is our play button, record. We've got a volume control. Um, back to the start. We've got some little mixer controls here, but this is the button that we want to use in this uh, session. So we're going to click on that, and that allows us to get into this window, which is where we are going to arrange all our sounds. So that means we're going to stack up all our different sounds on top of each other in this window to turn them into a song. So we'll have one strip for drums, one strip for percussion, another one for vocals, another one for bass, another one for synths. We will just stack up all our sounds on top of each other and choose which ones we want to put in our tune. So to do that, then we need to go and find the songs 
or they'll find the songs or the sounds or the beats that we made in the other apps. And we do that by scrolling along the top here to this section here, which is where our loops are. So we can click on this and it opens up this section here. Uh, and this section allows us to uh, search through all the different loops that come with the program. So you go to this Apple loop section, there are lots of different loops that come with the program. But we'll get back to those in a wee second. The one that we want to start with is this one here, which is called Files. So we're just going to click on that. Uh, and then we're going to go into Browse Items from the Files app. And then we go and find our samples. So here's the folder that, that in the first session and this session we stored all our sounds in. Um, so here is my house loop, 120. Uh, and in my Beats folder, if I double click in there, then here's my house beat, 120, that I made tonight. So I'm going to click on that. And here it is here. Like so. And we've also got other loops in here that we brought in. This hat filter loop is from last week. Like so. so we can just click on them and hear them. These are ones, some that made this week, some I've made at different times uh, and just imported in. So you can see that for most of these, this one I forgot to put it in, but for most of these we've got a tempo. And in this one, because it's got music in it, we've got a key as well. So we can bring any of these in. So maybe let's get our house beat that we made um, tonight in figure. So to bring this in, I'm going to click on it and hold it down until you see it floating. And then I'm going to drag it up like so. So now we don't want to drag it up into this window. We want to drag it up just below that. All right. So if we want to um, then play that to hear what that sounds like, I'm just going to click the play button. Like so. So you can hear that little clicking, which is our metronome here. Uh, and this metronome should be playing in time with the beat. But if I click it, you can have a listen in here. It isn't. So the reason that it isn't is that the default speed for GarageBand is different than this 120. So we need to change it so it matches this 120. And we do that by clicking on this little wheel. Uh, and then we can see tempo. This is where all our settings are. We can see the tempo is 110. And that is the default tempo setting for uh, any GarageBand session. So we can just click that up until it gets to 120. Now, whenever I take that back to the start, press play. Like so, you can hear this little metronome is now playing in time. So we're just going to turn him off. We don't need him anymore just by clicking on him. But what we do want is this to play throughout the whole of this section. So whenever you open a GarageBand session, it'll play eight bars of music in a loop. So once this gets to the end of the eight bars, it'll go back to the start. So it gives you an eight bar section. Uh, and the, what we want to do is to play, get this to play right up to, this, to the end of bar eight. And then we're going to put some more sounds underneath and another sound underneath and another sound underneath. Stick them all together to make our track. So to do that, I need to click on this and then click on it again to get this menu and then select loop. Now we can scroll up to the top, uh, click our little play button. And it'll just loop around. So it'll play all your bars, get back to the start, uh, and then um, start playing again. So what we can do now is uh, we can add other stuff on top of this. So let's have a quick look at how to do that. We'll start to build this up over the next couple of videos, but let's have a quick look just how that works. So we can go back to our loops here. And instead of selecting files, we're going to go to Apple Loops. So right beside that, there we go. And now here's all the stuff that comes with the... Um, uh, with the app. So you, whenever you download the app, you get all these signs with it, but you can also get some additional ones. Again, none of these are uh, cost anything. They're all free. 
so we can click on instruments and say I want to put just another kind of percussive thing on top of this. I can go for all drums. Um, and then maybe I could, if I just want like a little hi-hat or something on top of this, I can scroll through just to look for that sample. So we can click on these and we can hear what they sound like. There you go. So every time I hit on one of those, I'll be able to hear what it sounds like. I can preview it, see what it's like. But what I can do instead is go into here, press play on this loop, and then go and preview the sounds so I can hear what they sound like in context. So it just means that I'll be able to hear this sound that I've already uh, put in and I'm playing, but then hear what the loop sounds like on top of it. So let's check that out. Okay, so if I like that one, I then just need to hold down on that until it floats and then drag it up and down underneath. Like so. And now we have both our sounds playing together. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. The only thing I want to show you how to do here then is to save this. So we're going to start coming back to this and kind of building up on this, bringing in some other instruments from different apps, also using some of the sounds that come with GarageBand, maybe doing a little bit of uh, external kind of voice recording and stuff as well. And that will all come in the next lot of videos. Uh, so for this one, last thing we're going to do is save it. If you go up to the little folder, see in the top left here, click on that. It'll say save and it'll go here, but you really want to rename that. So we're going to click where it says my song. Whoops, let's go back here. It can just be a little bit fiddly. Click my song. Hit the delete. And then let's call this Graham. Make do create track. Always really good to kind of think of something that will remind you exactly what that track is. So if I just call this Graham Song 2 or Graham Song 3, then come this time next week, I will have probably forgotten what Graham Song 3 even is. But because it's called Graham, make do create track, then I know that that's called, that's the track that I'm using for make do create. Really good to get into the habit of naming things so you'll remember what they are. Then click the done button and there you go. That's us sorted. Um, all right couple of things then I just want to say before the end. Uh, thanks very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you were able to download Figure GarageBand onto your uh, tablet or phone and give this all a go. Create some amazing beats and bass lines. Get them into GarageBand. Start adding other things to them. Uh, this is the just the beginning of a journey of uh, using all the kind of capabilities of different apps and the functionality of your uh, your iOS device to start putting together some awesome music. So hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll come back next week to see what we're going to be up to next week. Um, but the last two things that I would want to say, number one is if you are enjoying this video, and hopefully you are, then click on the subscribe button below this video because that means that you will get uh, access to uh, all the other programs, all the other courses that are out there. Um, and reminders that when new videos are up, notifications, all that kind of stuff. Um, because it's not just me doing uh, videos. We've got lots of other amazing artists from across Northern Ireland that are on board in Make Do Create doing their own programs. We've got illustration, we've got sound recording and drumming, um, abstract art, some animation, lots and lots of really awesome things going on, um, hosted by very, very talented people. Uh, and their videos are awesome. I've been watching them too. So get on to the YouTube Wheelworks channel, click subscribe, uh, and then be first to get those notifications of upcoming videos uh, and premieres of new courses and watch other people's stuff um, that's out there. It's all great stuff. Uh, lastly, if you want to share some stuff, that would be really cool. We would love for you to send us what you've been working on, 
we can post it up on the website we'd love to shout about what you've done maybe even showcase some of it in later videos that kind of thing would be great so get on to tanya at wheelworksarts.com uh, and send any content that you've got over to there so not only little bits of music that you've been working on if you're following my videos but any of the other videos that you're watching if you're creating some art making some animations doing getting involved in any of the other workshops making some stuff if you want to share that get it over to that email address it's up on the screen right now um that's it thank you very much again for watching i will see you next week bye